resilience is what Tideway is all about in a way. The Tideway project is to bring more resilience to the London sewage network. The London sewage network as it stands is fundamentally the sewage network that was built by Joseph Bazalgette in Victorian times and to a greater extent it still works. However, whenever it rains the sewage network overflows into the river and to prevent this what Tideway is doing is building a tunnel to catch the overflow into the river to prevent it going into the river. In terms of resilience within the project we are looking to design with the end in mind. We're always thinking about how the system is going to be operated, maintained um, uh, and commissioned during the construction, making sure that all the designs are compatible with the way we want to operate and maintain the tunnel, keeping operation maintenance people involved in design decisions and collection of information moving forward. We are an infrastructure project. We are also a construction project. There are different attitudes to resilience within treating it as an infrastructure project and treating it as a construction project. Sometimes the particularly look, talking about resilience to the construction of it, it doesn't always, it's not the way it's always been done. So sometimes people are, well, why are we doing this this way? Usually once it's explained to them why that it, they understand, but because it's different, that it's not always treated the way that we would like it to be by everyone. In terms of tools we're already using, we've invested a lot in things like BIM and ensuring that there is consistency between our BIM and our maintenance management and things like that. And that's required us to do a lot of work. So tools enabling us to leverage the things we are already doing better rather than brand new tools, kind of including the way asset management thinking and BIM thinking and linking them together with resilience and not just thinking about pure asset management seems very static life cycle, whereas rather than taking into account potentially catastrophic changes, um, BIM is very much focused on the construction and there is a, we found a bit of a gap between getting from construction information into more usable formats for asset management later on. And actually the link, it, the, the, the big systems are kind of there. It's the links between them, I think, would very much help us be far more resilient throughout the life of the project from very early design right the way through to um, O&M and then to decommissioning.